Hey boys and girls, Brucey here and I'm just going to do a quick analogy between tablature and puzzle books. And it's just an approach and it's just for you to kind of figure out the way that you work. And I'm not being down on tab. There are benefits to not using tab. There are benefits to basically trying to find out how a song works using your ear. By doing that, you will develop so much faster than if you just rely on tabs. And that is where the analogy comes in, because it depends how you, if you ever do any puzzles, if you do say, for example, a crossword along those lines. The, the idea for me of looking up tabs on the internet is having a blank crossword and then jumping straight to the answers and then just copying the answers into the crossword and it's done. That is fine if that is the way you want to do it, but if you are hoping to develop as a player, then that's not the best way. And what you'll find is it's probably better to make an attempt at the crossword, maybe get a few words in. So if you're trying to transcribe the solo, the equivalent of that is jumping uh, ahead, listening to the whole solo and maybe getting fragments of it. Don't worry about completing the whole thing in order or going through. Jump down here. Little bits will give you pointers to where you might go or you might find, you know, you've got a word in here or you've got a little phrase and it helps you fill in the rest of it when you figure out the notes around it once you've figured in a, a word here. Alternatively, although this is slightly difficult to do, if you do a crossword with a friend or with a partner or something like that, you, you're playing each, each, each other and you're suggesting things and when someone suggests something you might go, oh it's not that, it's that and it might trigger something in your thought process. And if you can find a friend to transcribe with, that's better because you can trade off ideas one against one another and someone else's thought process might help you figure out what the sound is, figure out what the lick is. And someone else's noodling on a few notes might give you the clue to what the actual part is. Uh, and if the worst comes to the worst and you're stuck and you've gone through and you've gone through and you can't get anywhere, then have a look at one of the answers. But be really careful, just maybe get two of the notes and then go back, grab one of the answers. Don't just take the crossword and then copy all the answers. To me, tab is the equivalent of doing that. It's the equivalent of getting a puzzle book and filling in the answers from the, from the answer sheet and not really enjoying it. And also think about it as well, the satisfaction you get when you actually complete a crossword by yourself without looking at the answers. It's so much better, it's so much better, and you feel better, and it inspires you to go on and do more, and not look at the answers. It's entirely up to you, you do what you need to do, but tab is there, tab should be there when you get really stuck and you just need to maybe get one question right, or compare your answers, but if you're doing a crossword, if you're doing a transcription of a solo, you should be able to hear if it's sounding correct. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found that in a useful knowledge and I will catch you later. Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here. Just wanted to say a massive thank you for checking out my channel. Please do subscribe if you like what you see here. Please do fire away any questions you might have, more than happy to answer them. And if you are in the mood, please do check out my guitar creativity book, which has a whole wealth of information on ways that you can be creative and develop your technique and develop your playing in new and interesting ways. Catch you later.